Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, actually, from your guys' perspective, it wouldn't have been too long since I did Storm 4. Uh, today we're not doing Storm 4. It is currently, as you can see in the time there, it is currently 12.58 a.m. I can't sleep, so I'm sitting here, it's like, well, I could browse Reddit for two hours, or I could do something somewhat productive for those two hours. So you saw a ton... I can't English. Um, so you saw the title, probably saw a thumbnail. You know we're playing The Long Dark, and I really should have thought this through. Uh, give me one second. The Long Dark. Well, ain't that fantastic? It's in my library. Also, before I give myself a blinding headache, is it under themes? Nope. Um, no, wouldn't it be notification settings? I only use this PS4 all the friggin' time. Don't know why that was set to white. Um, Oh, right, that's right, uh, I just remembered, I, it's, it's, oh yeah, it's my, uh, this account doesn't have PlayStation Plus, um, uh, I could use my main account, but, uh, this will make it very easy to keep my saves segregated, because I'm actually still learning this game. <clears throat> Testing. One, two, you don't mind me just watching the volume levels in OBS. I think I'll turn that up. Turn up 0 0.1 decibels. <clears throat> Hinterland Studios Incorporated does not condone the wanton destruction of wildlife. As the result of the geomagnetic disaster, which serves as part of the fictional foundation of the game, we have taken liberties with the portrayal of wildlife behavior. We are not attempting to create a realistic wildlife behavior in the game. We know that wolves do not typically attack people. The Long Dark is a survival experience, and we strive for realism in many areas, but it is not a replacement for actual survival training or experience in the wilderness. In the end, our goal is to provide an interesting set of choices for you to play with safely. It is not a wilderness survival training simulation. Contact us for more information. Info at hinterlandgames.com. Do not attempt to use what you learn in the long dark in real life. Doing so could result in injury, illness, or even death. Give it a second. It's it's a launch model PS4. Sometimes I'm surprised this thing still turns on. Oh god, my throat's so dry. So, fun fact, uh, Hinterland Games is actually Canadian. I like them pretty much for the same reason I like Digital Extremes, and that, you know, they're Canadian, and they made a really good game. In the case of Digital Extremes, I'm told they made two. Dark Sector. I didn't even know that existed until I found it on PlayStation Now one day. Also, my TV's slightly misaligned. I suppose you can't see that. Alright, first time setup. Um, default's pretty good. So I, hold on, that shouldn't be too loud, you should still be able to hear me, though I can't hear me. Um, I know I will do a uh, winter mute eventually, probably, maybe, I hope, um. Yeah, give me a second while I go through the first time setup, um. Metric, regular, contextual. I've been told some people crank up the field of view. Um, like I said, I have a launch model PS4, so I'm kind of scared to touch this. Um, 
Also, I find field of view looks super wonky when it goes above 80. That's just a me thing, though. Unfortunately, I'm the one playing the game, so you're kind of stuck with me. Um, so, yeah, the other reason I want to do this on this save is because uh, feet progress will be separate. So, for those who've never played the game, you can earn feats. Um... The more you of the more you some of these aren't that great. I don't know what the thing is on book smarts uh, here is like the one that like the first one you see, but I know some of these are actually really good. Um, so basically, feats are uh, modifiers you can unlock. Like you see here, if I complete 250 hours of research, I gain 10% more benefit from each research book. More on that if I actually come across any book research books and have the time to research them. Um, so, these are not, like, you have to do it all within one game, because some of these would be ridiculous. Like, Cold Fusion, your average player would never, uh, get to 100 days, I don't think. Uh, let alone 100 days outside. And, like, on Reddit, I keep seeing people, it's like, yeah, I've reached day, like, 620 and whatnot, and it's, like, this super impressive thing, so... Efficient Machine is, like, another one. Like, you earn these over time, like, per, um... Like, you earn these uh, over the course of multiple games. Um, especially stuff like Fire Master, like, starting a thousand fires. Like, I could grind this if I wanted to. Um, I'm going for Free Runner on my main save, because I'm an impatient fuck, and I like the sprint button a lot. <laughs> but it eats so much calories. I'm just showing you all the feats. I haven't unlocked any of these. Like, even when Grey Still Plays started his, uh, uh, his playthrough on Interloper, with the, back when Faithful Cartographer was the new update, yeah, they just added mapping to the game. He's like, yeah, I have my one little feat, and it was actually the Freerunner feat. Um, this is another one I like, um, well, want, because I seem to just get coffee. It's... Like, in my current game, uh, Coffee saved my character's life because he, le I, I, like, legitimately ran out of food, was, like, about to go into starvation mode and lose the well-fed buff, which was, like, the only reason I could still move because I had so much stuff. Um, and then I looked in my inventory, uh, it was about the time my character even was like, can you eat trees? And I saw that Coffee had 100 calories per cup, and I'm like, you know what, it, it's time for a fire. <laughs> I just started drinking coffee, like, non-stop. Like, my fatigue gauge was about to turn red from how low it was. When I was done, it had completely reset. I'm never getting this feat. If I do, it's on accident. And I'm just straight up never getting this feat. It's practically useless to me, because on the default brightness, I can hardly see at night. So, yeah, um... You can see here, it's like, the difficulties change how many feats you're allowed. On Pilgrim, which is boring, you don't, you get five, then you get four, three, and then two. Uh, Graystill Plays has described Interloper as the hardest a realistic survival game can get without actually trying to kill you. Hold on a second. Be glad I managed to mute that in time. My sneezes hurt. Um, I'm not going to be playing on Interloper. I'm going to be playing on Voyager because, what, like with my XCOM series, one of them anyway, I said I liked this game. I never said I was good at it. But first, um, there's a whole lot of stuff, so I can just show you what Voyager really means. Um, it means I get a lot of resources. I spawn at a random time of day. It's going to be heavy fog. It's possible to spawn indoors i don't think survivor monologue ever gets turned off because yeah gray was playing on interloper and he still had it um like and yeah basically the weather can be fickle at times the world does not the world temperature just doesn't get all that bad um i know an interloper it sets a high and it just goes like right through the friggin floor uh, voyager low Low wind, medi sorry, medium wind, medium auroras. Uh, this is an important one. Because on Stalker and Interloper, you can be standing inches from a fire 
and still freeze to death because it's that cold, especially on Interloper. Um, so basically what this means is it doesn't matter how cold it is, my f the fire will automatically overpower the ambient air temperature. Um, this is a custom thing only, like, it's night forever. I don't know why you'd want this. Um, so yeah, I'm just showing you, like, all the temperatures. Um, I do like the fatigue rate is set to, to fucking high. No wonder I'm always running out of fatigue. Um... Hey, intestinal parasites. So, um, bear, wolf, and I believe moose can get you intestinal parasites if you eat their meat on a stock or an interloper. Um, eh, that's cool. I do have to worry about that. I, al I always take the time to boil my water, even back when I played on Pilgrim. Uh, sprains are always fun. Food poison. Oh, Evan was right. I do have to worry about food poisoning. Broken ribs. Uh, pro tip, don't fight the moose. Um. And this is what I believe Rust as a resource is only disabled on Pilgrim. Uh, basically, what this means is it doesn't matter how many hours you tell your guy to sleep, they wake up when the um, they wake up when the fatigue gauge is full. No questions asked. Now, unfortunately, the reverse is not true. If like the temperature suddenly drops through the floor, like say your fire goes out, um, say you were careless in other words and sleeping outside next to a fire that wouldn't last all night, or just a blizzard rolls in as they like to do. Um, you'll wake up if the fatigue gauge fills, if the, or if the time you set elapses, whichever happens first. However, say for example, you're outside sleeping and a blizzard rolls in, you won't wake up. Unless that fatigue gauge happens to fill before you die, you will not wake up. You will literally freeze to death. I don't agree with that, ch I don't agree with that setting, because like... Two nights ago, I woke up and my room got mildly cold. I wasn't in danger of freezing to death. It was just slightly uncomfortable when I woke up. Fires prevent freezing. With this enabled, you can become colder when sitting next to an active fire, but will never begin freezing. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> Wake up player when freezing near a fire. Uh, if you start to freeze when resting next to a fire, you will wake up. Helps prevent freezing in your sleep. Note, this setting only applies when resting near a fire. That note is, like, what I was talking about. Birch bark tea crafting. That's a new one. Um. Oh, yeah, by the way. All items lose condition over time. Uh, okay. That's pretty self-explanatory. And some stuff does uh, respawn. Uh, starting gear allocation high. Right. Oh, so. These two things and a few others you'll see below um, are disabled on Interloper. Basically, it works something like this. You turn, this up, you turn the rifle availability off. Rifles stop existing. It's that easy. Uh, same thing with the revolver. Oh, it's not below. Um, on Interloper, um, hatchets and knives also cannot spawn. Uh, the Hacksaw, Pry Bar, and Heavy Hammer can. And you can see here, um, fish spawn chance high. Oh, that's good to know. Like, you can, t I actually like the custom difficulty, uh, because, uh, you can't earn feats with this act when using a custom difficulty. I see it right up top. I have it set to Voyager just to show you guys what like this all means in plain English. Um, yeah, on stock on P on Pilgrim, I think this is enabled, even though it doesn't matter because in Pilgrim, wildlife won't attack you unless provoked. Um, I know on stock or interloper it isn't, but on Voyager, you basically have like okay, 24 hours to get yourself established and then be careful, especially if you spawn somewhere like Coastal Highway or. Heaven forbid, Black Rock. I tried to spawn there once. That was fun. Um, wildlife smell range. Uh, carrying like meat and stuff and fish. I found that out the hard way. Or bleeding because you got in a wolf struggle. Will uh, give you like a smell range. I'll explain that if it comes up. You'll. I'll, it'll be apparent. Um, yeah, scent increase from meat, blood, uh, passive wildlife. Um, that basically just makes. Wildlife passive. Yeah, 
you can read that one. I just swallow. Affects the chance that wolves will flee from you during an encounter, including when using flares, torches, or stones to deter them. Note, setting passive wildlife to yes will override wolf fear. Uh, timber wolf morale. So basically, regular wolves. Um, hit, like, wound it severely. Uh, fire, flares, and the flare gun. And marine flares work on them. I found that out when I was uh, fucking around in Black Rock. Um... Timberwolves, on the other hand, uh, they have, like, a gauge. You saw it in the settings, the Timberwolf morale meter, where, basically, uh, you have to do damage to the pack, and eventually, uh, when that gauge, like, empties, they'll just flee. Um, I do know for a fact, if you kill all but one of the wolf Timberwolves without uh, just obliterating the gauge somehow, that the, um, that the sole survivor will flee, which I find is nice. Um... Mind you, I've never actually encountered um, some rules. Let's see. Wildlife struggle bonus modifies how effectively you fight back during a struggle. More effective means the struggle is shorter and you take less damage, etc. No, even when set to high, there is still a chance to take damage. Uh, TLDR, don't fight the wolves. Um, <laughs> and these are pretty obvious. Um, anyway, 16 minutes. Um... I think it's time we get stuck in the Voyager. I have no feet, so I don't get to pick any. I hope that makes sense. So, I don't know about Stalker, but I know an Interloper, you don't get to choose your spawn. Like, the game just goes, okay, you're starting here. <laughs> you're starting here, like it or lump it. Um, yeah, it's a bit hard to tell. Um, hold on a second. Let me turn F.Lux off on my laptop so I can actually... Ah, that's blinding, so I can actually see what I'm... Yeah, it does show up in OBS. It should show up on YouTube. Uh, I don't know, since this is upscaled 1080. So while it will still look good, it's privy to YouTube's 1080p compression, which is terrible. But you can see here the different regions that are highlighted as I cursor over them. Because, God forbid, they give us an actual, like, box around it or something. But basically, you can click on, like, say, a region, like, say, Black Rock here. And it gives you a little breakdown. For intermediate players, home to Black Rock Penitentiary, this region's icy rivers, deep ravines, and challenging weather act as a natural extension of the notorious prison. Its many caves and winding roads offer additional security if a storm moves in. Connects to Pleasant Valley and Timberwolf Mountain. I've never been to Pleasant Valley. I'd expect a place called Pleasant Valley to be pleasant, but I've heard it's actually terrible. Um, it doesn't mention the wolves. It really should mention the fucking wolves. Oh my god. When you're using marine flares, which were built for timber wolves in regular wolf encounters, that's how you know you fucked up. Um, what does Mountain Town connect to? Connects to Mystery Lake, Forlorn Muskeg, and the Hush River Valley. So another thing, um, I won't be using, like, region maps online. Uh, I'll be using, like, the glo Like, I'll have one of, like, a copy of this. Uh, pulled up sometime. Like, I'll have a copy of this pulled up if I want to know, like, what regions are adjacent to where. But, for the most part, I won't be using, uh, like, actual in-region maps. I'll, I'll probably be using one for Black Rock because this place is a damn maze. Uh, I do know some things. Uh, for example, there are two... There are two ammunition workbenches in the game. The one most players are familiar with are, is in Bleak uh, Inlet, and you have to j do a whole bunch of crap to get it. And there's another one, if I can get the cursor to cooperate with me, in Black Rock. I won't be spawning in either of them, I'll be spawning in Mountain Town. It's the first place, it's the region you spawn in in Wintermute, and it says right here it's for new players, which I absolutely am. Anyway, it's been 19 minutes and 10 seconds and counting. Let's begin. I will play as a male survivor. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? It depends on the loot. Like with Warframe, you live and die on the whims of R and Jesus.
It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. Charles Darwin. Oh, this is awesome. I don't know where I am. Requires hat. Okay, requires tools. Okay, um. I can take stock later when I'm not freezing to death. I might want some of these later. Okay, hold on. Nope, no charcoal. I suppose to... Yep, nothing's filled in. Last update, never. Uh, I don't even know if you guys... You guys can absolutely hear me. Um, okay, I'm gonna want sticks. Some stones. I'll freeze to death if I break that down. Only two arrows down. So we went from fucking fantastic to fucking craftastic. <gasps> Building! I can hardly hear myself think right now. Oh shit! Balls! I don't feel so good. I was careless. No affliction. That's fantastic. Uh, that's probably just some condition loss. Um, Eight and eight sixteen. Sixteen plus eight is something I imagine. And whatever that is plus another eight is something. Um, is that a real interior or a fake interior? Is a fake interior. Yeah, this shows you how much I've played Wintermute if I don't even know what this is. I assume this might be important to Wintermute or something. I wouldn't know. I never got past the first episode. Playing wood. Oh, yay! A, revol a rifle cartridge for that rifle I don't have. Just start a fire. Um, 27 minutes. I might freeze to death in that time. Um, Can't feel my feet. No option to break that down? Really? Uh, Carter, hydroelectric. Where's that fire barrel? Because I'm about to freeze. Um, Pick of charcoal, I'll show you what that's used for in a second. I have one accelerant, I'm gonna save that. So fires do provide their full temperature bonus that you get uh, while they're starting, which means I'm no longer freezing to death. Well, that didn't work. I'm out of tinder. Craptastic. This is absolutely not how I wanted to start this. Um, Come on. Fire's life out here. So while that's doing that, I can take inventory. How's my clothing? Uh, 77%, 49%, 76. Hey. Oh, I actually have proper footwear for once. Thank the Lord. I'll explain this when something that isn't hypothermia comes along. Uh, feels like zero.
That should raise it. Feels like zero. That's fantastic. Um, I do have a sewing kit. I just need some fabric. I have some painkillers. I have no water at all. Fantastic. Um, feels like five. Okay, the temperature should actually be going up now. Fire embers, and I'm out of fuel. So I'll just hold on to that for the time being. Okay, the immediate danger has mostly passed, so what's over here? Car's hatch to break down. Car's hatch to break down. Let me guess, you require hatch to break down? I assume so because I can't click on you. Um Whatever, let's go. I'm going to freeze to death. <laughs> I'm going to freeze to death right here in the beginning, and it's not even funny. Well, one thing I can do, I suppose, is figure out where I am. Can't feel my hands. If I said I'm lost, would you all believe me? Um... How this game taunts me. So for the bow, you need to cure saplings. Um, and it's a maple sapling. Unfortunately, oh, you can do it with a hatchet. <coughs> you can do it with a hatchet now. You originally required the damn hacksaw. Remember reading something about how they do that? Over oh, corpses! Yay! Maybe you'll have like a space heater or something. Or you'll have nothing. Um... leads absolutely freaking nowhere. Um. <sighs> this way looks like it leads somewhere. Um. Unfortunately, I don't have any good access to editing software, so yeah, that oh, that sucks. So you're just so gonna have to deal with it. Cold. That's awesome. 
this can be used to uh, dress wounds and deal with infection risk. Um, in my in my main run, I actually did this against the food. Uh, crouch, aim right between your fingers. Easier when you're not freezing to death, I know. And miss horribly. I'll make one more pass at it. Just above the thumb. And see that uh, sort of wavy indicator? That's scent. Uh, I don't have to worry about this right now because wolves haven't spawned yet. And... Oh, count my lucky stars, a deer corpse. Um, unfortunately, I can't use bare hands unless it's warmed up, and I'm kind of out of, um, what's it called? Fire. Hypothermia risk isn't terminal yet. Um, so, what I'll do. For the deer carcass next to a whole bunch of cattail plants and a rabbit grove. Yeah, something Graceful plays uh, actually showed off in his place. I don't know if it works just as well here, but. Cattail plant are good because the stock is very light and has 150 calories, and the cattail head can be used as tinder. Bit of trivia for you. And I've actually tried it in real life. I don't know how cattail stocks taste, but I know cattail heads are actually surprisingly flammable. And oh yeah, I know where we are now. Now we're cooking with gas. So, I'm pretty sure this place had just saved my life. Um, is there always a fire here or something? Um, ooh, dog food. That can be warmed up. Ten of sardines. Some books for a... Uh, oh, I see you there, Hatchet. A reclaimed wood. Something I can break down later. And a bed I can sleep in. Um, food. Just mounch on that for some calories because it's low condition. Oh yeah, cattail stocks never go bad. At least they didn't in uh, Faithful Cartographer. I don't know what they do here. Um, but, I think see. I can use this. 20% fuel. It can hold one liter. And this is very good because it does raise temperature, but that's not what I use it for. I just use it for the portable source of light. Uh, surprise, surprise, I'm pretty big on being able to see where I'm going. Though in dim light, I prefer to just rely on my eyes. Ooh, newsprint, that's tender. Um, I already have plenty of books. Uh, books, like when, when burnt uh, as fuel to start a fire, they give you a fire starting bonus. Which is good, because I don't have any torches yet, and I need every advantage I can get. Yeah, um, hypothermia risk is treated by just simply getting out of the cold. Feels like zero. That number's not going up anytime soon. So what I'm going to do is sleep for three hours. And the temperature bonus from the bed should get me some... If I go outside, and I see a blizzard, huh? maybe it'll pass in six minutes. If I go outside and see a blizzard, I swear to Christ. This is 
is a blizzard. Okay, uh, I'll keep that in mind. And I'll go back inside where it's not minus a gajillion degrees. Um... So anyway, seeing as I have unlimited free time now, um, I only have the book. Oh, I have a bunch of books and I have a reclaimed wood and some sticks. So I need another reclaimed wood. It's faster and time is kind of of the essence at the moment. Um, so anyway. See, I have the rabbit corpse in my inventory, and this would have been the same if I walked up to the deer and had a tool. I can press square to harvest it. I'm gonna do so with my bare hands to save the hatch's durability. And I'm gonna save the hide for now. Um, nah, it doesn't make that big of a difference. And this is why I have my cursor facing the campfire. This isn't something I did in post-process. This is how the game actually looks when it gets dark enough. Um, you'll even see. Because as soon as I, as soon as I like start the fire, it lights right up. Two birds with one stone right here. 33, it's probably 33 for that too. Yes, I spawned with these in their low condition. So purify the water. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Eat. That gets my food up. Drink the water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the the gut so it cures inside, and drop the hide so it cures inside. Then I'm gonna take a torch, extinguish it immediately. Take a backup torch and extinguish it immediately. And I'm gonna sleep for four hours and hope this this uh, blizzard's gone away. So since I'm here, no charcoal. Good to know. Um, Yeah. Night and day difference. Can't see your own hand in front of your face. It's ridiculous. Oh, by the way, in Winter Mute, you can save whenever you want. In Survival, you only save when entering and exiting interiors, um, or sleeping. I think if you use a bedroll or the campcraft option to pass time, I think, you also, uh, save whenever that ends. Um... Okay, I'm still within my 24-hour grace period. Uh, okay, on my mind, I, I can still see. Um, actually, three arrows down. This is craptastic. Um, okay, I do have two reclaimed wood. Stick is 60. A book is 80. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna show you how... I'm gonna show you how we do it normally. Um... You take your torch and light it for one match. And then, wrong tab, uh, and then you attempt to, and then you place your fire and use the torch. 
Basically, you use one match to light the torch, and then you, the torch just gives you, like, unlimited attempts until it runs out of uh, meter in the bottom right. Now I'm, like, using a book, and, like, Cattail Head is tender. So, it's like, and, and it's a lit flame. It has a bonus equivalent to wood matches. So, um, add fuel. Reclaimed wood. By the way, never press X on a campfire with a torch in your hand, because instead... You'll light it. Now, this is actually quite useful if your only fire star is, like, the magnifying glass. It's a pain in the ass if you want to actually add fuel. Um, so, you see, this is 93% frozen. Um, I only have an hour or so... I only have an hour or so on it. Uh, so I'm just gonna use the hatchet. And grab the gut. I need to find food. And we'll go from here. It's 45% frozen, so I can now use my bare hands. Um, nope, wrong button. I want to cook the raw venison. It should take 56 minutes. The fire's not going to last that long. So, 48. Uh, don't step on the campfire. You'll take uh, damage. Like, immediate damage. There's no sticks when you need them. Okay, if I just step away from the campfire... Minus 32, it should last longer than advertised due to an interesting mechanic. I need anything right about now. Eight minutes, seven, yeah, 17 minutes, yeah, I was right. Um, so if I keep my hunger from fully depleting for, like, a day, I get the, uh, not for a day, for three days I get well fed. At that point I just don't have to worry about, at that point I get bonus uh, condition and carry, and see, nothing to harvest, because I harvest this whole corpse. Um... And by the way, even though the fire is, like, on the verge of burning out, it's still, like, you know, so I'm still one arrow up. I'm still good in terms of temperature. Um, but as soon as I step away from it, three arrows down. Also, when a campfire burns out, it goes to an embers phase. Like, it still keeps me warm. Uh, and I can just add fuel to kick it off again. And, uh, cooking and water, uh, melting and purifying will still progress in the embers phase. But it can just burn out at any time. Also, if at any point the wind had picked up, the fire would have become windswept, uh, capping it to nine minutes duration and keeping me from adding more fuel to it. Uh, luckily, that didn't happen because we were coming off the back of a pretty big blizzard. What are you? I don't know what you are. Um, an hour and half of my frugal calories. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's a hard pass for me. Once again, I'm going to save our precious matches. And you can see that while we were out, this stuff is curing. Very fucking slowly. Um, while this is burned out, I can walk over it, but in embers, you still do take the contact damage. Bed. Okay, I do need to actually eat something. Oh, you can't eat dog food? I could have swore you could heat dog food. Um, whatever. I'll have the venison. And this is why deer meat is so good. Look what that did to my hunger gauge. I usually prefer to sleep in, like, big blocks of time. Uh, but this is just better for me. Also, this place is horrible for staying alive. Oh, shit. Um... <laughs> Like, this was a temporary rest stop of, like, I have no other place to go. Um, yeah, it should be good. Um, what's it doing outside? Oh, yeah, uh, vehicles, that can get you killed. 
if you just expect vehicles to be warm, you can absolutely die from trying to take shelter on them. They're great for getting away from predators. If the predator eventually fucks off and leaves, which, you know, debatable. Um, three arrows down, craptastic. Um, yeah, I'll do it. I need the fuel. Um, and, yeah, you saw how fast my condition started going down. Uh, once I was through, like, my buffer of, uh, temperature immunity. Raw meat and fish gives off a scent that attracts predators. Yeah, in other news, the sky is God blue. freezing. I always forget to do this half the time. Yeah, I do need to warm up, like, within the next ten minutes. Um... Because this is not where I want to end the first episode. Um, I want to end it somewhere... Like, I want to end it in Milton. Since I know where I am now, I absolutely know I can get to Milton. Failed attempt. Why didn't that work? And just like that, this paid for itself. So when that happens, uh, the fire starter is consumed, unless it's a fire striker, which just loses durability, or a torch, which just continues to burn. Or a magnifying glass, because they only lose uh, durability in wildlife work. struggles. Oh, you may notice I'm fucking about with this. Um, if you look at the chance of success, sticks have a really good chance. Um, actually, there's a, I just realized there's a book over here. I can just take that and use the book for an 80% chance. Come on. Don't mind me taking swings to Sevia. Just trying to stay hydrated. Ah, torch is still good. Get more water. Should take half an hour. And no cookable pots or cookable no cooking pots or cookable items in my inventory. Well, ain't that crap tastic? Actually, if I kick you up to an hour, the first of many. Hold on. Survive a single day in a survival mode game. That means predators. Um, I can purify that later. And just real quick. Nothing to cook with. Um, take a torch. That's a really low condition torch. And sleep for an hour. Something I'm going to point out is, um, if you look at the cost per hour, sleeping an hour burns 68 calories. Passing time burns 112. It's almost midday, so... And yeah, you can see how fast that pack fills up in the top left. You can go over that. You just start earning penalties for doing so. Anyway. That church and that deer both saved my life. <laughs> when I spawned in, I did say, like, your chance of survival depends on the loot. This is why. Fog. Craptastic. The calm before the storm. Um, real quick, I'll show you guys how cars work. Um, that's locked. Requires a pry bar. You can enter the vehicle. Uh, you, can ch you can't change seats. Unless there's some control I don't know about. I'm on PS4. Might be a PC thing. 
Uh, you can enter through all four doors. Um, you can turn the radio on, which will be powered during the Aurora. You can flip these down. Uh, Gray still plays as he never finds loot in any of these. And you can search the glove box. Empty. Um, by the way, any container, you can store items in there, and they'll stay there forever. Uh, you can also find loot, like, on the floor in the car. Oh, and another thing. You move faster on pavement than snow. <sighs> Shit. Get to the truck. <sighs> well, since I'm in here. That'll come in handy. Uh, wood matches have a plus 5% fire storing bonus. Uh, cardboard matches just don't. Ah, oh, great. He's in the way. Maybe he'll fuck off eventually. I can't see him anymore. So here's how you deal with wolves. Give them space. Do not sprint. And for the love of God, do not approach them. If they charge, throw a lit flare or torch. This wolf will probably follow me all the way to Milton. See, he's like, I don't know if he's showing up on my monitor. Well, he's not now. Um. It's always important to watch the wolf on your six, but it's also... I hear more of them. It's also important not to accidentally uh, back into a wolf when you're keeping tabs on your canine stalker. He's still there. Town of Milton. Also, this torch is so low, I don't think it would actually affect a wolf if I threw it at said wolf. Um... So, my heart's in my throat, um... Well, I'm in the house, I may as well loot it, um... Oh, the oven's already been opened. Um, stuff can spawn, like, inside the cabinets here. Um, there's ones that are, like, a, the doors are, like, ajar and it's, like, a pain in the ass to look at them. I've been told... Uh, stuff can spawn in there too. This will come handy. Oh, that might save my life. Um, ooh, cup of herbal tea. I can reheat that for the warming up buff. Uh, find a hacksaw. I can break that. Oh yeah, that door right there. Um, I've been told stuff can spawn in here. Okay, I'm playing on Voyager, not fucking Interloper, am I? Actually, I can't be playing on Interloper. I have a hatchet. Um, not that hatchets can't be obtained in Interloper. It's just an Interloper. You have to make them yourself. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I could disassemble them later. Um, free water. Stuff to like break down the cloth. Maybe the wolves will be gone when I go back outside. Um, I doubt it. 
painkillers and a bandage. I have the feeling I'm about to need these. Um. Oh, right, I didn't even search upstairs. I can't break the rug down, that's surprising. I'll take the cooking pot, though. That's gonna be handy. Some tinder, and a plastic container. Gotta take this food. Yeah, that's a moldy. Um, 29% condition, I'll just eat it now. And free cloth. Why did you jump down the stairs, you idiot? Use cardboard matches. Uh, sometimes you have to hold X when lighting them, when it asks you to select your fire source. So, even if you get ambushed by a wolf, uh, if you're not using it in the struggle, I'll explain that if it happens, um, then you can, uh, then you drop whatever's in your hand. And on one occasion, granted it was a marine flare, and I was used in a struggle with a normal wolf. Uh, you drop whatever's in your hand, and the lit marine flare, and the fact that it was lit is important, um, actually scared the wolf away. Jesus fucking Christ, I finally made it here. Uh, so, a rifle can spawn here. I've only made it here twice. Uh, the first time it spawned here, the second time it didn't. Um. Oh, by the way, four slot oven. This stuff will come in handy. No, sorry, not four slot, six slot. What do I have for- actually, first things first, take the charcoal. Um, this is used for mapping and not much else. Um, what do I have for fuel? Five reclaimed wood. A, so I have a book. Use cardboard matches. No, sorry, use wood mat- No, use cardboard. I'm, I'm burning these just to light torches and I can't be arsed. I'm gonna wish I could be arsed, I can already feel it. Damn it. Well, I could play in the Gambler's Fallacy, or I could do the Intelligent thing. Um, by the way, uh, I was about to praise the game for auto-setting it to the torch. Come on. That did it. So, cooking pots... Could end actually, up being useful. Yep. I was... Buddy on Reddit was right. Uh, cooking pots reduce the time it takes to cook something. Oh, Jesus. By a lot. Let's see. 45 minutes. This lasts for... Not very long. Um, and yeah, I pressed X there and it reset the cursor to the top. I don't know why it does that. Uh, so I'm going to let that run, and I'm going to tear the kitchen apart. Press L2 on an item to pick it up. I know in real life it's something like you can damage pots if you're not cooking anything in them, but they're on, like, a heating element. That doesn't seem to exist in this game because, uh, ooh, so, because cans and pots only degrade if they're on your person and you get in, a, like, say, a, a struggle with a bear. Uh, I know bears trash whatever's in your inventory. I think wolves can trash your clothing and do some very mild damage to inventory items, and I'm pretty sure the moose just crushes your ribs and fucks off. Um. <laughs> oh my god. So much accelerant. Oh my god! Stop giving me accelerant game! I'm fast enough!
By the way, time moves at an accelerated pace. One minute, yeah. Um. See, I'm gonna like turn this place inside out, and I've just realized I've been wasting a lot of time. Um, not in like a specific sense, but that stuff needs to be on the floor to cure. Notice how it hasn't cured at all in my backpack. <laughs> Uh, curing doesn't reverse. At least, I don't think it does. <gasps> fire Strike! That's at half condition. A fire striker. That's actually really friggin' good. And now we're gonna break down a chair with a hatchet. I'm pretty sure I could do that much faster. Ooh, wood matches. Another book. Fleece mittens. What have I been wearing? Yeah, I know they put a rifle spawn here because in Winter Mute, it's episode one, and it's like one of the first things you encounter. Um, the Grey Mother's like sitting here on her chair, which is currently knocked over with her uh, rifle. What have we here? Hmm. I can break these down later. More button. Oh yeah, I, this is one of the few ones where I got like actual proper footwear. Um, I can break this down. Class has something telling me I can break down the, the uh, thing. Um, I'm pretty sure my rifle spawn was propped up here where this broom is. Uh, that's probably not the only place in this house it can spawn. Starting to think I am on interloper. The friggin' loot tables. Ooh. These worn work pants served me well in my main game. Um. Ah, chair special. It's faster, but more complex. Um, yeah, because that's how physics works. Totally. Um. You know, my friggin' luck, um, I'm probably gonna end up walking right by the rifle and just completely missing it, and I'm just gonna, like, never be able to find it. Oh my god, those are all individual stacks of pa Jesus Christ. Hey guys, do you need Tinder? Um, I've got Tinder for fucking days over here. How much cloth do I have? Ten? That's enough for now. Um... I won't say no to free water. Um, antibiotics. Always helpful. Wool long johns. I might have to patch them up, but... Empty cabinets. Revolver card. And see, aff affliction, sprain risk. Uh, I'm over my carry capacity. And by the way, that capacity does go down when the fatigue gauge gets especially low. But if I go over here, sprain risk. Caused by encumbered. You are exhausted or encumbered. Sometimes both. And at a higher risk for sprain when traversing slope ground. You know on the bottom right, above like the weight symbol? Which only pops up when you're encumbered, by the way. Um, but there was like a sloped ground symbol. That's what that means. It means you're traveling on an incline and liable to a sprain. I had it happen. Sprains are simple. Just hold L1, first aid, bandage, and select the actual, um... No, don't apply the bandage. I thought it would bring up a display or throw an error. But, yeah, just apply the sprain to the, the bandage to the sprain in question. Uh, bandages are also great for blood loss. I'm leaning back. You can still heal me good. Um... 
that a mirror? Oh yeah, no reflections. Um, no reflections. This stuff's curing. So the reason I, you want the uh, gut and hide is this game doesn't have base building like say Ark, but it does have crafting. Um, for example, I can craft bandages in. I can craft cloth into bandages. I almost had that backwards. Um, you can craft sticks into tinder plugs, newsprint into tinder plugs, and uh, newsprint rolls and stack of papers into tinder plugs. Um, old man's beard lichen. It's probably better. Um. Yeah, I'm going to kick myself if I need this and don't have it on hand, since Rosehip Tea also has uh, calories. The way it worked originally... Conservation of mass, question mark? Um, <laughs> so, the way it worked originally was for... You just need to have, like, the 24 rose hips, and you would auto-craft the tea immediately. Uh, but now the tea has a crafting time of 15 minutes per. So... Yeah, you need to craft it ahead of time. You know, since I'm here. I'm going to leave bandages as they are because I have three of them. Um, do I have anything for my head? Uh, oh, yeah. So, the reason you want the uh, hide for, like, the deer and stuff is you can make... Uh, stuff out of them uh, i'm not going to just yet because although at 100 percent condition this stuff is actually really good i'm not so sure about the boots but i know uh, or the pants but i know the bearskin coat at like six degrees it does terrible things to your mobility and it weighs a metric ton and t 60 hours to craft how are you supposed to make this on interloper that's instant cabin fever um But yeah, um, it's really good if you can make it. If you can spare the 60 hours. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but the moose hide satchel is a pretty good one. You put it in the accessory clot, uh, clot. You put it in the accessory slot and you can just carry, like, I think it's an extra 10. No, I think it's an extra 5 kilos more. Um, oh yeah, there's one. The rabbit skin mittens. Um, handcrafted mitts. They may make you clumsy, but they're very warm. Kind of like you're wearing a rabbit on your hands. I can almost hear the developers adding, you monster, uh, after that. Um, 50 hours. Jesus Christ. Um, but the reason I want the uh, gut is twofold. First of all, I need it and a sapling for the survival bow. I need two gut for the uh, survival bow, actually, and it takes hours to make. Um, and the arrows, like, I'll need to find... Uh, find arrowheads or make them at a forge uh that's gonna be fun i'm at like the opposite end of the well there's one in four on one hand there's a forge in forlorn muskeg on the other hand it's forlorn muskeg um but another reason you want uh you want gut early on is you can turn scrap metal into a hook you can turn gut into two line and then you put them together and get fishing tackle I'm probably going to spend a lot of time either in Mystery Lake or Coastal Highway, if I can get to the latter of the two, because Jesus fucking Christ, that transition zone. Um, it's not Desolation Point, and it's transition zone for another transition zone. But that broken railroad, oh my god. Imagine tight roping with like 100 pounds of gear on your back over a twisted and bent rail the width of a loaf of bread. <laughs> Doesn't sound very fun. It's nerve-wracking. Oh, repair skill increased to 64. That's good. How's my fatigue doing? Craptastic? No, actually. That's very surprising. Something's wrong. Yeah, see, uh, new pork and beans. I have time. Actually, no, it's been an hour and nine minutes. Um. So, the bed. Oh, by the way, bed warmth bonus. This is very important. Um. 
I don't know if this is tied for it, but apparently there's one spot in, I believe it's Coastal Highway, that has a bed, that provides a bed warmth bonus of like 12 degrees. It is unironically the best bed in the game. So I'm going to sleep for eight hours, which costs roughly half my calories. You woke up fully rested. And it took about half of my calories, so that the events coincide. And yeah, uh, it's a nice, lovely shade of pitch darkness. But yeah, you do autosave when sleeping, but for some reason, my dumbass just can't trust that. So whenever I want to save, I always leave the house and walk back into it to force an, an autosave. Like I said, it saves whenever you sleep. I've had to rely on this in the past because there are some spots where you absolutely have to sleep outside uh, because the alternative is just not sleeping at all. Um, but like I said, I always go out and back I would do in. anything for a drink right now. Oh, it's a beautiful shade of pitch darkness out here, too. Um... Yeah, energy drinks tempor temporarily reduce fatigue and boost stamina. That's good to know. Anyway. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Long Dark. I know I actually had a good time recording it. I don't know if I sound incredibly bored or monotone. Hold on. Um, that's just, like, my voice. Uh, the microphone probably doesn't help either. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed watching, just... Let me know in the comments. I plan on doing more of this whether you like it or not. Wah ha ha. Uh. <laughs> anyway, have a fantastic day. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to find a way to upload a video that's over an hour long before 3 a.m. hits.